Team, welcome into the auditorium. You'll see it's completely changed and different. That's right, we've updated a little bit here. We're, uh, we're trying to modernize and make things more clear for all of you out there studying and learning engineering. We're gonna be using the ASCE 716 here today to help us out. Specifically, we're gonna be going to chapter 15. So non-building structures, love that. Don't get too focused in just you know building structures and hyper-focusing on chapter 12. There's other things. There's non there's components and there's non-building structures. So those chapters are just as important and just as critical that they're gonna be drawing uh, problems from that you'll see on your exam. So we gotta cover this kind of stuff, all right? And we're going dark mode. I don't know what kind of psychopath nowadays uses like YouTube on default mode. I, I have dark mode for everything. Maybe that's just me and my little fragile eyes, but let me know in the comments down below if you like this, if you don't, I'll switch it back, I guess, but you know, Whatever, we're rolling with it today. A non-building structure has an R value equal to 1.25. We have an S1 equal to 0.75, assuming an importance factor of 1.0, so it's not a you know, very special non-building structure that we're working with here today. Still, everything's important, right? But this one, not critical. The minimum value for the seismic response coefficient C sub S is most nearly what? And we have a couple of options there. As I called for, chapter 15, this is what the beginning page looks like. Uh, and you'll see, oh, let's get our, let's get our drawing going. Non-building structures. It gives definitions of what non-building structures are and are not when you're permitted to use this chapter, when you get kicked out of this chapter to another chapter. So if you're ever on the fence as a new engineer trying to figure out like, oh, what, what pertains to me? They give you criteria and steps to uh, go through to determine, hey, am I in the right spot? So these first pages of all of these chapters are always, um, I think, overlooked. They were by me when I was younger, but they contain a lot of very straightforward and great guidance on what you need to do, as they should, right? Uh, but we're gonna skip by it, <laughs> as I say all of that, because it doesn't pertain to us here today. Instead, we're gonna go right down, I'm gonna zoom out a little bit, to 15.4, structural design requirements. C sub S is one of those design requirements. Um, it gives you a, a, a numerical list starting at one, and I think it goes all the way to uh, a couple tables in between, but you see two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. So it goes all the way to 10 different things. Read through them, I think it's beneficial for your studies. We're gonna find ourselves at numero two. So for non-building systems that have an R value provided in table 15.4-2, the minimum specified value in equation 12.8-5 shall be replaced with this guy. You might think, oh, we need to jump in and use these tables in order to you know, get more criteria so that we can solve for our C sub S. But the problem is asking for the minimum C sub S. So you're not gonna be finding yourselves up in this table. It's really just coming down and checking the additional equations that spit out your C sub S minimum value. So the lower bound value. Sort of wish they would write like CS min. That's what I do in all of my calculations. And then like when you have an upper bound, I write CS max uh, and I compare my value of C sub S, make sure it falls in between and then I can proceed forward. But they don't do that. So just keep an eye about the, the words that they're saying um, as it relates to the equation. It's replacing the one that's back in chapter 12, which is seismic design requirements for building structures. And they also say, hey, C sub S shall not be taken less than 0.03. So let's grab onto this, but let's keep reading because I see a couple other equations here. So we don't want to just jump the gun. And for non-building structures located where S sub one is greater than 0.6 G. All right, let's keep an eye on that because I believe S sub one for us is 0.75 G. The minimum specified value in equation 1286 shall be replaced by this equation. Then there's an exception. What does this exception say? Tanks and vessels that are designed to blah, 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 appendix, blah, 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 API, blah, blah, appendix, blah, 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 standard stacks and chimneys. Well, I'm gonna stop us there. Didn't specify any of that. Didn't specify tanks, vessels, stacks, chimneys, it just said, non-building structure. So I am going to pump the brakes and say, this exception ain't for us. It's clearly very specific. So if they wanted to have you include this in your problem, they would specifically tell you tanks, vessels, something, something that just makes it crystal clear, hey, you need to include this exception. We have just these two 
equations that get us a C sub S minimum or a lower bound C sub S. Let's take them back and uh, let's run through based on the information that was provided to us. We have our two equations written out and we know that uh, equation 15, four dash two is only applicable for uh, non-building structures in locations where an S sub one is greater than 0.6 G. If you didn't see the gotcha right off the bat and you just moved linearly through and said, let me try this equation, then let me try the next equation. Whatever yields me my lowest value, I will use for my final answer. That's a, an absolutely applicable way to go about this. So we'll start with equation 15, four, one, and we'll see very quickly, we need an SDS, which was not provided to us. If you head back to chapter 11, you'll see SDS is equal to two thirds SMS and SMS, am I in the way? No, is uh, you need, I think what's equal to S sub S times F sub A. I believe it's something like that. So you need a lot of additional criteria that you would need to assume uh, that you can't, you can't get from what they provided to you. So there's no clear way to go about finding SDS. So you're stuck with that equation. You go, I, I can't solve that equation. It's not applicable to me. I need to move on. And then you move on to the second one and you would then realize, oh, well, this equation is only applicable with that criteria if it's true. Our S sub one is equal to 0.75 G, which means this is true. So this first equation, regardless, I'll go blue, is not to be used as a lower bound C sub S equation. Instead, you must use 15, four dash two. And when we look at that, lo and behold, I'll stay in blue. We have S sub one, we have R, we have your importance factor. So we have everything, let's plug in and see what we get. That gets us 0.48 and when we go up, we go green. Well, it's pretty clear there's only one choice. D is going to be that final answer that I would choose. Everything else is way too low, C sub S. There you go, that'll about do it. Let me know how all this room in the auditorium, are you enjoying it? Are you not? The, the lights dim down low, the black background. Let me know in the comments again if you're enjoying it. Something that I can help improve for next time. I'm really trying to push out better quality content for the group, for the gang. So keep an eye out for it. And uh, this is Rich with Team Kesteva and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.